Okay, I know I saw something. I saw it too. Rhea did say the Jotunheim realm tower was missing from the lake. But maybe only kind of? Very strange indeed. Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted.
beach here. You got him.
This is where the tower to Jotunheim should be. It feels strange somehow. No doubt some arcane magics were involved. I would be not at all surprised to learn you were sensitive to that. I think this is the last one. Might as well, right? Fine. Kavikia. Ready yourself!
I must speak with you. Another spirit who wants something from us. How unexpected. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or Mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother, but it was never my concern. Nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching Jotunheim. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. Want to see what we can trade those for?
interruptions. Another name. Rota! Someone who loved the Valkyries enough to do this? I wonder. Perhaps the Queen? Brothers. Well, who doesn't? They're quite famous or infamous, depending on your point of view. They crafted Mjolnir, you see. Thor's hammer? The Aesir's greatest murder weapon, the bane of giant kind. They made Thor's hammer? I don't think they'd like to. Oh, I should say not. But this was long ago, and they were eager to make a name for themselves. I've overdid it with that one, methinks.
help out more if you want. Just let me know. More of those. Good. more for the collection.
see what we can trade those for? It's another Valkyrie. We're gonna save her, right? If by save her you mean brutally rip her wings off, then my vote is I. Enough. Both of you. I will decide the best course of action. Prepare yourself. louder than the last. Milady, please tell us. Why were you in this physical form? Why fight us? I do not know. The soul of a Valkyrie cannot remain pure in a physical body. We belong in the spirit world, which is where I now go. Goodbye! I... I wouldn't want to speculate. You know something. Ah, Mimia, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Head. Uh, Sigrun, the queen of the Valkyries. She would have that power. The last time I saw her, she was corporeal herself. She came to visit me long after I'd been imprisoned by Odin. Why? Well, we had history, I guess you could say. Like... Romantic history? Ah, oh, lad. You're making me blush. I think. Can I still blush? First we hunt these creatures, and now we chase your former lover. We do not need this distraction. It's more than a distraction. Father, these are Valkyries. They're the ones who keep the dead from overrunning this. Then they are terrible at their job. It's not their fault, brother. Someone changed them. Kept them from their duty. The Queen? I can't say for sure, lad. We should ask more of them. If, of course, you don't mind that distraction.
Atreus, follow me. Be right there. God. Maybe I can fly. No, no! Gods too must stay on the path. I promise you. Hang on. Mamir, you called Brock and Sindri the Holger brothers? Aye. But they're dwarves, aren't they? Aye. And Holger are sprites of the forest. Aye. Beautiful, seductive sprites of the forest. So why would you call Brock and Sindri the Holger brothers? Oh. Well, I now realize this would be a wholly inappropriate story for young and innocent ears. Whatever. Let's look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin does? He's like the King of Gods. Of the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. Ah, missed its gentle breeze and the sweet smell of honeysuckle and blood. Well, judging by the sky, the Light Elves are in control of the light this time. Explain. You see, the Light Elves and Dark Elves... ...are always fighting over the light. That part we know. But did you also know that control of the light has changed hands no less than 213 times? Really? It's true. Each side believes itself the rightful keepers of the light, and argue they're simply fighting for survival. But the fact of the matter is, the war has been going on so long, they don't know who they are without it. Brock are kind of famous. Well, you're half right. Whatever did you hear? That you made Thor's hammer. Oh. Yes. We did do that. Mjolnir put us on the map. It was a legendary run. Gods and kings knew our brand. We really did make quite a team. So what happened? Oh, well, that's a long story. Things happened that made it difficult to... Find that certain spark, you know? Inspiration is a fickle mistress. 
Huh? Oh, enough distractions. You see the mess I have to clean up around here? Let's get to it. Well, don't buy anything on my account. this up for me. Svartalfheim means land of the Dark Elves, right? Right. But you said the Dark Elves have been here now for a really long time. And anyway, aren't dwarves supposed to be from Svartalfheim? They don't look like Dark Elves. Don't you think so? Then you are vastly more perceptive than the Aesir. They're the ones who apparently can't tell the difference. And they're the ones who came up with that name. Dwarves actually call their home realm Nidavalir. So the Dark Elves aren't from Svartalfheim at all? Not even a bit. They're just Elves of another color. Nobody knows who came first, but they all come from Alfheim. Why do they fight all the time if they're really the same? That is adorable. Huh? It is the way of the world. Oh. Well, that's sad. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's another Valkyrie. Are we doing this? On my action. Looks like we're doing this. Sounds like your queen is responsible, Head. Aye. When I saw her last, she was different. Changed. And not just that she was in physical form. She was more volatile. She... I tried to talk to her about it, but she had just come to say goodbye. I didn't think. I'm sorry, Mungir. We'll find her. Not sure she wants to be found. I just don't understand why she would do this. It doesn't make a lick of sense. And if she is responsible? Then we'll have to stop her. The Valkyries must be freed, and we are the only ones capable. We? Well, who do you think's gonna watch your back?
Atreus, follow me. Sorry, I got distracted. to go where he can't reach. Are you saying he's trying to get to Jotunheim too? Aye. It ranks among his foremost obsessions. But that doesn't make any sense, Mimir. Oh? When did I stop making sense? You're saying Baldur tracked us down to find the way to Jotunheim. But that was before we knew Jotunheim is where we needed to go. That's crazy. Except for one thing. You are headed for Jotunheim. So he was right. I'm so confused. Well then, clearly you've been listening. So let me see if I have this right. You and Sindri made me own here. Yep. And then Thor used it to kill a lot of people. Your damn point? Just seems like you're mad at each other about it, instead of being mad at Thor. Kid, I like you. But you don't begin to appreciate the complexities what developed between family. You don't hear me lecturing your old man how he ought to be raising you. And believe me, there's plenty to critique. Sorry, Brock. He's trying to help. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future. Control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. serpent tell you when you spoke. Kind of sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Oh, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself.
are done here. was next to Mother's Garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. Namir, do you know why there are no more giants left in Midgard? I mean, not counting the serpent from the future. Well, they did not take me into their confidence about that, Odin's convictions to the contrary. But I know this. If I'd spent the better part of 60 winters seeing my best and brightest cut down by Thor and that damn hammer, I might very well go home to lick my wounds. It's too bad. I was fond of every giant I ever met. So that's why they destroyed the bridges to Jotunheim. So the Aesir couldn't follow. And is that why there's no tower on the lake? I doubt it's a coincidence. So you think when we get to Jotunheim, we might find giants there? Anything's possible.
Look here. Yes, sir. Huh. Interesting. I may want to write that down. Why is Odin so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway? He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's oldest enemies after all, and it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. He wants to know what they know and see what they see. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hang.
back here. Oh. Can we get out of this place? That refers to a modest example of Odin's thirst for knowledge, the time he spent nine days a dead man. Aye, hung himself by the neck from Yggdrasil's branches, put his spear through his own side and bled down into the Well of Destiny. He roamed the realms of the dead and plundered the world tree of its secrets, until I think quite rightly it got fed up with him and sent him back to the land of the living. Did I not mention he was barking mad? Get you squared away then. Nobody's twisting your arm. <laughs> 